Does the UFC actually need McGregor? No, they don't need McGregor. They don't need him to win, and they don't even actually need him in the sport. It's great to have him. He's, with Mayweather's retirement, the number one combat sports star in the world. He's huge for their economy, but they don't need him any more than the UFC once upon a time needed, say, Hoist Gracie and, and Ken Shamrock. Or once Zufa took over, I've been trying to tell people for 17 years, almost 20 years, since I sat down and had a conversation with Dana White all those years ago, and he explained to me his plans when Zufa took over the UFC, Try to explain to people, MMA is here to stay. It is going to be a mainstay in the, in the American sporting landscape. And so, so like, through the years, did, did, did it need Tito Ortiz? Tito Ortiz, Matt Hughes, they were good. Chuck Liddell, good for business. You heard people, oh, the UFC needs John Jones. The UFC needs Ronda Rousey. No, those are all those fighters were good for business, but there will be more fighters and more stars. Conor McGregor is great for the UFC. The UFC will do just fine. It will go forward. And that's the key, Will, the way this business model is set up. The best fights are made because you know what? May the best man or woman win. And if they continue to win and continue to promote well, they'll be big stars. And if not, they'll be replaced by the next generation of stars. The UFC doesn't need Conor to win this weekend because, or rather, that's because he's such a big star, he could survive a loss. But they need him, Max. They need him nonetheless. They need him around. They need him in their sport. And I'm not going to debate you on the fact that they've survived in a unique way. No, better yet, they've thrived in a unique way. I agree with you. UFC's not going anywhere. MMA is not going anywhere. And it's done it with this idea or this ability to act like stars are commodities. They're interchangeable. And you named a ton of guys, from Matt Hughes to Chuck Liddell to Ken Shamrock. And it's really fascinating how they've moved from star to star to star with short-lived lifespans. But that's not the story of most sports. In fact, I don't know it's the story of any other sport. We learn how important stars are in the, honestly, drama that is sports. We learn it with Tiger Woods again and again in golf. We're going to learn it with LeBron James. We learned it in between LeBron James and Michael Jordan. You don't think the NBA suffered when Michael Jordan went away? They did, and along came LeBron James. Stars are important. I know you know that, Stephen A. I know you believe that. And Conor McGregor is a massive massive star. He is not those names you listed, Max. Well, he's not Liddell. He's not Hughes. He's not Shamrock. Well, of course, of he's course, the I, biggest I believe. One yet. Oh, hold on, hold on. Of course, Will Kane is absolutely right when you talk about needing stars. I mean, obviously, you do. You need me. We, we get it. I understand it. I comprehend it. But here's the flip side to it. What I will say about it is this. When you look at the sport of boxing, that should be indication as to why the UFC does need Conor McGregor to some degree. You don't need Conor McGregor, Max, to win. I agree with you there. But you know what you do need? You need him to show up. You need him to put forth a good showing. You don't need him to get destroyed. Why? Because we're talking about a pugilistic sport. And in this day and age, you got football, you got basketball, you got America's national pastime, Major League Baseball, et cetera, et cetera. We see how boxing, even though it's big, huge, worldwide, in the United States of America, it dipped a little bit. So from a pugilistic perspective, the fact that Conor McGregor is so marketable and he makes himself so oh. marketable. I think that's important to the UFC's continued yeah. growth. It is important along with to be- Dana White, along Conor with Dana McGregor White, is making good sure for people have the fights that people want to see yeah. when they want to see let, him. Go let ahead, me rephrase Max. it. Let me rephrase it. Conor McGregor's great for business. And part of the reason he's great for business is not only that he's popular, but that he wins and he competes even when he loses. He's a great fighter, okay? But you're wrong about the comparison with boxing, Stephen A., because the way boxing evolved, there never got to be one promotional outfit that was so dominant worldwide that they could monopolize, if not the majority, at least the plurality, meaning more of of the fighters, even if there are so many promotional outfits, it's only 40%, it's not 60%, gotcha. still the plurality of the best fighters in the world. The UFC has done that. They have a dominant market position. And as a result, Dana White, as the guy making decisions, can plan for long-term horizons. There's a, you know, markets are very efficient, as Will Kane will tell you, at allocating resources in the short term. But over longer horizons, it's good to have some kind of centralized authority. Boxing has never really had that. So it's become, so it, it was, it has been and continues to be more dependent on stars. They drive business. And it has Muhammad it had Ali one. goes away, boxing suffers. But the UFC, because they do have a central control, is less dependent on stars than well, boxing has been. I hear you. You're saying because of that, they're more easily capable of building the next Conor McGregor. And I honestly think, Max, and, and I know you don't believe this, you're diminishing 
Conor McGregor's unique star ability. As Stephen A points out, his marketability, his persona, his perfectly drawn character, his villain, and yet a villain that you root for. It's all too perfect. It's otherworldly star stuff that when sports get a hold of, they have to retain it. And I'll tell you one thing. I, don't, I believe he survives a loss. We all three said that. But I want to say this. Stephen A, you said he better show out, right? He better show up. He better not get destroyed. Exactly. I'm going to tell you, I do agree with that. Although I think he survives a loss, this, I've sensed this from people. They believe that, and forgive me here, the BS needs to be backed up, right? After Floyd, it can't all seem like snake oil salesman. That he's going to have to show that he was the guy that we saw. Well, he will, well, after after Floyd. Hold on, hold on, Max. Hold on, Max. We're also hearing things about weight issues and was he training right? You know, the kind of stuff he's putting into his body. You're hearing these question marks about Connor. So if he goes into that octagon Saturday night and gets completely destroyed right. by Nomega Medoff, I do not believe that would be good for the sport, okay. Max. Last first, word. For, first, Real quick. I'm not arguing Connor's losing or not competing is good for MMA or the UFC. They, they, he's great for business. Business will dip without him, at least temporarily. But that's different than saying they need him. The UFC is here to stay. MMA is here to stay. And it's going to do monster business with or without him. We just more monster go business. business with him. But this idea that Connor needs to show he's not snake oil salesman after going double digit rounds with the best pound for pound fighter in the world in his professional debut and winning yeah. rounds? That's a different no, subject. He doesn't need that's to prove he's that's real after that. That's a different subject that. for another day. He proved that, mm. that that was boxing. This is the UFC. It's a different ball game.